That was the old in the oh. end. It was the old. That's like another 150 of those it's sold like, then. Something is like ringing. There's so much gain everywhere. That was. Like, there, was a, there, was a, there was a lick in there or a little lead line in there that was just like... I can't even remember. Don't kill us. Anyway. I had my juice this morning and then I lost my ginger. mind and I was really angry. And then... <laughs> but all then the it ingredients all comes out in the... For a great solo. For a great solo. And my hair needs a haircut. If we I'm all see myself that. in the mirror. We all my need hair. haircuts. If, so... If I had a nice haircut, it would ask you to like and subscribe this video. <laughs> <laughs> and they, they, they if the hairdresser was here right yeah. now, he would say, please, <laughs> he like say, and subscribe. That is awful. Um, so, um, we love a good road-worn guitar, Mr. Pete, don't we? we yes, we do, th Mr. There Lee. Is, there is some debate in Andertons as to whether or not the whole Fender Road-worn series is possibly the pinnacle of value for money within the Fender range, where you get to buy a guitar with a price that only has three numbers in it. <laughs> You know what I'm saying, right? Three uh, numbers. And it's nitrocellulose finished. Yeah. And it's got proper American pickups in it as yeah. well. Yeah. And it's got a bit of relicking. And it's got... And it's still, just to remind you, only got um, three numbers in the price. For each pickup. <laughs> it's a number for each pickup. So, yeah. So, so uh, I don't know which one came first. I think this one came first, didn't it? Yeah. So, it, minus the gold scratch plate, which yeah, that, is an, I put that on. A, a thing that Pete did. So, this was the first one that came out about two years ago now. And it is was it? like a, a road-worn Vintera. Actually, it's even pre-Vintera, I think, this. But basically, like a road-worn yeah. um, guitar based on Pete's purple Telecaster. Yeah. Super, super popular. Then, in... Possibly the biggest single, you know, special run that Andersons has ever done. We decided to do these um, sort of 60s inspired strats. Again, three different colours. The Sonic Blue. Actually, is that Sonic Blue or Daph Daphne Blue? Yeah. The Vintage White and the, the Candy Vintage Red. White. Yeah. Uh, again, with American pickups. These had the, this was the first time that we put like the 59 vintage set in here, 1959 vintage set in here. These things were incredibly popular and still are now incredibly popular. And we got more of those coming because I know people have asked, especially. Yep. Okay, so there's more coming. So pre-order. And then people. in a nod, an ode, is that an ode? Is that, is it? Or a nod Odin. to <laughs> one of our favorite, favorite Fender custom shop guitars that we ever had at Anderton's we decided to do a road-worn mischief maker. What's the mischief, Pete? Well, that's a bit like that jam in the beginning. Well, just have a look and see if you can spot the mischievity. Is that a word, mischievity? Mischievousness? Mischievousness. Mischievity. Mischievity. Like that sounds like it's nativity, like but... Yeah, um, it's like a, it's, what, it's a naughty Jesus play. A mischievity <laughs> at Christmas, isn't it? <laughs> Not on the weekends. In the, at Christmas. Um, the headstock is the neck is from a Telecaster, basically. So a 50s... Uh, telly maple neck, and it's a vintage spec as well. So you got you you as you were saying earlier, but you know you got the um, the adjustment trust rod, yeah. trust adjustment under here. So you do have to take the neck off uh, if you need to do anything, but you don't because this came right out of the box and it's great. These and are both you, straight out the box with the strings, yeah. the action, everything, the trim setup, everything straight out the box. Yeah, and it just feels great. The satin neck, there's a worn neck there, and the uh, you know. Say what you want about the relic stuff. I'm if I have a relic, have a relic guitar because I don't care about it getting. Do you know what? Knocked Literally, around. Two minutes before we started filming this, Pete got up, put the guitar on his chair, moved, pulled, got his foot caught on the thing on the cable, and the guitar was like, "Whoa!" Now, in fairness, I caught the guitar before it fell off the chair, but it's yeah. like it's if it had fallen on the floor and another little ding was on here. Who cares? Who cares? It's just, it's just better. It's just like, it's just more dings. Exactly. So if you want to do your own dings, that's how you want to do them anyway. But you would probably, I would sell it. I'll go, oh God, if you get the PRS caught around that and you pull oh, it off the chair. Oh, right, Rabir. Rabir, Rabir, <laughs> yeah, put a picture, put it up to take a picture, take a picture, just to unbrush the picture and it goes wallop. And then the, you get a chip and a headstock on it. Devastated. A, you know, on this one, you just go, all right. <laughs> that looks even more cool. <laughs> so take us through some tones, Mr. Pete. Because, yeah, and then And then we'll talk a little bit more about the feel oh. and uh, and the stuff. And the stuff. Okay, so up here, it's a telly. And down here, it's a... Is that the business end? Or which one is the business know. end? <laughs> Three-way... Uh, five Is, way it, is it like Crocodile Dundee? Where he just goes... So normal Strat uh, business going on down here. Uh, Five-way selected switch, two volumes, uh, so one volume and two tones. Is it? Let's check if. Is it modern wiring? Yes. It is modern wiring. 
Okay, so which means that on the bridge pickup you have got a tone control, which is great because if you have a bridge, you can tend to get quite spiky sometimes. Roll the tone down a bit, and it takes Perfect. off the it takes off the hair of the top. It does. So, but anyway, let's start on the neck. Straight in the DP40. Sounds like a strat. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, position four with the uh, slow dancing test. Oh, 100%. Let me just hang on a second. Are you slow dancing? Yeah, I, I definitely slow Taylor's just let the room on fire. <laughs> and here's the middle. Uh, <coughs> Uh, here is the, but that's how we feel today. What is that? Just looking here, that looks like that's, looks like it's a different color from normal. It, it looks like switch. it's had a it's relic like a, switch, yeah. doesn't it? It really does. It looks like it's a, it's a dark switch instead of a silver switch. I just no, noticed that, I never noticed that before. It's, anyway, it's it doesn't matter, it still switches. So it doesn't matter what color it is. So here's the middle position. <laughs> Just some weird funk. Here is the uh, these two pickups together. That's it, good. Almost as good as my hair. And here is the bridge. And we want a bit of Dane on that. Holy smokes! This plays really oh. nicely, this. It's really nice. Uh, and that's a bit of spiky there, so... I don't know what I'm doing there. Uh, here is the two together with the Dane. Middle position. Something about a middle position pickup. That is very, very nice. Very uh, nice. Uh, that's the. Do you see Tomo's strat where he just has one middle pickup in it? I think it's. I've, I think I've seen him with like an ES330 with just like one. Yeah, but that was the thing well. back in the. Was that a. F that was only like 200 of those made or something. Was it? A 300. No, he's got a strat where there's just a middle pickup in it. Which is like, well, then you'll just play for that, you know? It's a, it's a good funk tone. I need a compressor on my board. And here is the slow dancing uh, preset. Sorry, that was the gain. And don't play this no. note. No, don't John play John Mayer that, says no. no. It's John Mayer, John says, Mayer no. says don't play. Yeah, just say no to <laughs> kids from Grange Hill and John Mayer. <laughs> yeah, uh, oh, now, uh, Pete, no, I have one more big up. Oh, now. It's a strike. It sounds like so, a strike. But there's more in it with the neck, I think. Anyway, so we go got on. just just kind of getting into the the finer details here. So although this is kind of like a fifties inspired <laughs> strap with the the maple board, we've gone with the three ply scratch plate because I kind of I always think three ply looks a little classier than than yeah. single ply. True. American pickups as as we've said, vintage style trem system. Um, 
modern wiring on the pickups with the five-way switch. But we're going to get to the neck because the neck is a little chunkier than... So if you like a sort of a slim style 60C, you might be better off with one of these um, road ones that we did before. Yeah. If you like the more sort of slightly fatter, it's not, there's no sense really of like a soft V or anything here. It's just a slightly fatter C. The elbow uh, Like a large C rather than a, a yeah. slim C. Um, and you've got, it's obviously a satin finish, so the, the idea with Road One is it, you know, would have been lacquered, you know, and then if you've worn all the lacquer off by playing it to death. Um, then you've got the slightly skinnier vintage frets on it, and you've got the until recently cursed seven and a quarter inch radius. Just about to ask what yeah. it was. There's but nothing wrong with it. <laughs> So the issue with the seven and a quarter radius, and I think the reason that some players moved to, you know, prefer uh, or, or at least got into their head that uh, like a nine and a half inch radius or a flatter radius would be better, is that I think if you want to play guitar with an action that's so low that you, you know, you can barely get a piece of paper underneath it, what you might find on a seven and a quarter inch radius guitar is uh, an element of notes choking out if you bend them up here. Rubbish. But if you just, well, it's not rubbish. I think if you just play with like a normal Strat action and you've yeah. got a decent Set setup, slightly. then you should find, and let's just, let's let's do the test. In fact, you do the test, Pete. Go on, the so test. let's go. Right. So that's 17th fret. 19, let's go 21. It doesn't. I mean, up there, a little bit, slightly, if you, but what, if you bend the like action two, is not high, but tones, I'm bending. Tone. I'm bending all the way up to a B. If you bend all the way up there, congratulations, yeah. because <laughs> why would you not just go? I mean, so I don't <laughs> think there's any. Real, it's an interesting. I one bet you a nine and a half would bend. Would, would possibly. Do that as well. I mean, it's it's one of those interesting <laughs> bits of fingers. guitar folklore Ooh. that everyone went whoa, 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 seven and a quarter inch radius, <laughs> and then uh, and then John Mayer put it on his silver sky, and everyone went, well, if it, if it, oh, it's, maybe, it's, it's, it's all right, it's all right now, like isn't it? I can absolutely yes, I'll play I'll play bend notes, so it's seven, fine. So look, so these are basically. I mean, I, I kind of I'm going to say they're limited edition because they almost inevitably will be. So the, the way it works is uh, Anderson's um, has an exclusive, you know, we, we sell this model exclusively. Oh, it's nice, and man. And we, every time we order them, we have to order quite a, a considerable number. So I think it's either 100 or 150, something like that, every time yeah, we want to do it. So at the moment, we that's what it's, you know, that that's how many have been made. Um, and they haven't all arrived yet. So they're arriving in, in batches over the next six weeks or so. So we've got some now, but... Panic not if you, if, if you still see it listed on the Anderson site, but we've run out, but it's showing you a delivery date. It's because there's still some more coming. And then at the end of that, we'll, we'll take a view as to how popular it was and how much you guys liked it and what are the reviews like, etc. And we might do another run. But, you know, relatively speaking, even if you take uh, what's the most popular one so far, it might be this one or this one, the vintage yellow. I can't remember. That was very popular. But even these, uh, we're still talking about less than 200 or something so it's incredibly uh limited and they um, went that quick there was 50 of those wasn't there? And they went with less than like three or four days they were just gone yeah so you ha i mean so there you go spectacular value um, for money it really is i've also just noticed mr pete mm -hmm. for an extra bit of mischief um yeah they've left off the uh decal to say whether it's a stratocaster or a telecaster on here because of course it is neither or both depending on what perspective you have on things. <laughs> anyway, so yeah. there we are. Uh, I like this, Pete. Oh, and of course, so I, I alluded to the price having three numbers in it. Of course, it's the highest price it can be with only three numbers in it. <laughs> it's £999, <laughs> including VAT. Uh, and now, of course, in this post-apocalyptic Brexit world, that means if you live in Europe and you buy one of these, it'll actually cost you uh, like 20% less than that, or at least the, the UK VAT off. And then mm -hmm. when you get it, whatever your local VAT is in your country, you pay that to the courier, and uh, plus like one or 2% in other like duties and admin charges. So it might like work that. out cheaper actually than... Oh, uh, it might do if not. you live somewhere with very low VAT, uh, or it might be a bit dearer if you live somewhere with very high VAT. Like Denmark. I think, I think Norway 27. is... 27%. Oh, 25 in Denmark. Yeah, I think yeah. Norway and Denmark 27. 25%. Yeah, 25%. Wow. Anyway, but, but we you get a lot do for that get, money. 
you do you get, get this really lovely uh, gig bag, um, and uh, and there are no. This is a lovely man. I love this. Yeah, there are Sorry. no physical barriers to us sending it to uh, to Europe uh, or to mainland Europe. Or, so get it or, or, here or, while it's hot. Yes, while it's warm. So there we are. Oh, That's my little um, happy days. Yeah, let's let's do a jam out. Let's do a jam I'll come out. Come up with something. We'll be back in half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, subscribe. Love you loads. <laughs>